All right, guys, here it's Mrs. Anglade, and Sarah is joining me today because she wanted to stay after school and find out a little bit more about the multiples of 21 and how to find multiples off the tower, right? Okay, so Sarah, before I started the video, I asked you, you so you understand the 10th multiple, the 20th, the 30th, the 40th, the 50th. Did you understand in today's class when I asked if the first video was 21? Did you understand why the 10th, the 10th multiple is 210? If yes. the first multiple is 21, right? Mm -hmm. The tenth multiple is 20, or uh, 21 is 210. Why? Why is it 210? Because if you do 10 times 21, you can like just oh. take yeah. 1 times 21 and add a zero, yeah. right? So if I know the second multiple of 21 is 42, how do we know what the 20th multiple is? Um, you take 10 away. You just. I mean, no. Oh, if sorry. you know two, you add a zero. right, right. If you know two times twenty-one is forty-two, don't you just add a zero to the end of that? Yes. Okay. So what if I asked you for the sixtieth? The sixtieth. If this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, here's the sixth. Can you tell me what the sixtieth multiple is? This, um, that would be one thousand two hundred and sixty. That's exactly right. So you can continue that pattern, right? You can find all of these multiples by just knowing these multiples. It's pretty cool. Okay? All right. So you're a little bit confused about tonight's homework about, okay, what if the multiple's not on there? Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's just do one. Do you want to do maybe, um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Hold on, we got technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Technical difficulties are fixed. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a new page. So let's see if I can't make a new page. There we go, made a new page. All right, so let's do number one again, okay? So 1,344, and I want to know divided by 21. Let's make a story context, because I bet you have a really good story in here that you can do. I want you to think of 1,344 something. Make it fun. Make it like like really weird. Um, Chihuahuas. Oh, uh, what? A, you would pick a word that I can't spell. Chihuahuas. Is that how you spell it? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you have that many chihuahuas. What are you going to do with these poor chihuahuas? <laughs> are you going to put them into um, twenty one in a crate? No, we don't want to put twenty one in a crate. Oh, hmm. <laughs> That's a pretty big number of chihuahuas. Let's let's not do chihuahuas because you know I don't want SPCA coming after me and like going, you got 21 chihuahuas in a crate. Let's do something else. Um, let's do candy. I always like candy at Halloween time. Are we okay with candy? How about? Mm stuffed animals. Oh, that's better. SPCA won't come after me with stuffed animals. Okay, stuffed animals. And what are we going to do? Are we going to put 21 in a group or, or are we going to make um, a groups of 21? Uh, I mean, that? 21 in a group or are we going to make 21 groups of something? Um, 21 groups. Okay, so we, we're going to put 21 um, boxes. Okay, so we want to fill 21 boxes with an equal number of stuffed animals. So the question is, how many stuff, can I use SA for stuffed animals? Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. How many stuffed animals in each box? Do you agree with that? My pen okay. is just really not cooperating today. All right, so here we go. Now, here's the thing. We have 21 boxes. I want you to visualize that. 21 boxes, and you're going to put the same number of stuffed animals in each box. Do I have to know what that number is right away? No. Could I do, let's, let's do some clustering. What if I, in those 21 boxes, started off by, well, let's see. What could I do? Could I do 40 boxes? If this is 40, um, could I do 30? I could even I do as many 50. as 50. You want to do 50? Okay, because you know if you put 50 in each box, how many stuffed animals is that going to take? That's going to take... 1,050, right? Yeah. 1,050. All right. So, oops. So when I do that, when I put 50 stuffed animals in each of those 21 boxes, this is how many I'm starting off with, right? And what am I going to do with that 1,050? You're going to subtract it. Right, because aren't those the animals that I've put in the boxes? Don't I want to know how many more, how many more I need to put in the boxes, right? Because this is the 21 boxes. This is the 50 in each box, and now I'm going to take this away. So you want to try to take it away with me? Let's uh, do left to right. You think, you think you can write? Okay. Yeah. All right. So you just hover over. It's just like a mouse. Let's yeah. see. Aren't the kids out there jealous? Okay. 
So 4 minus 0 is 4. There you go. Oh, I can't. Uh. Just hover. I know it's hard. There you go. So I can't take 5 from 4, can I? So I have to come over and borrow 100. Make that a 2. She's doing really good, guys. This is not as easy as it looks. And then she's going to make that a 14 tens. She's been dying to use this. Just like everybody else has done. Okay, so 14 tens, take away 5 tens is 9 tens. 9. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, I sorry. Know it. I know you do. See, see my time bar down here? Got to got to keep it in two. a certain time. Uh-huh. So 294. Okay. That's zero. And mm -hmm. so zero. Right okay. That, so. so what does that 294 represent? That is, um, represents how much uh, each um, each what did you say? Each um, stuffed animals are in each box. Well, not yet. Isn't this how many stuffed animals you still have left to put into boxes? Oh, yeah. We put 50 in each box. So now what can we do? We can go back and look. So we have 294 stuffed animals left. Do you find 294 on here? And it's okay if you don't, because you know what? You're not always going to have a multiple yep, tower. Yep, it's right there. Okay, but what if we didn't know that? Could we have done 10 more groups? Yes. 210? Yeah. So let's do that. Let's put 10 more in each of those boxes. Okay? And why can we do that? Because that equals 210, doesn't it? And we have 294. So I can put 10 more in each box. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I do that, I'm going to take away those bears or those stuffed animals that I did. And when I do that, I get 84. What am I going to do with 84? Now, that's probably something you can start to figure out. You're going to, um, you're going to subtract time, 8 to 21 times 84. No. Uh. How many groups of 21 are in 84 is the question. Oh, 21 groups in 84. Now, what if you don't know it? Do you have to do right away? No. Do you, you know could, two groups? Yeah. 21 times 2. So are we going to do 21 times 2? You could. Sure. We'll do 21 times 2. Which equals 21. 21 42. 2. 42. Right? Sorry. Right? Ugh. I'm telling you. This pen is just as probably tired as all of us, right? <laughs> Whoops. Took away too much. 42. <laughs> all right. Stay with me, pen. Only a few more minutes. 21 times another 2, right, is 42. 2. How much is that all together? 42, gonna... okay. That 2 plus 2 equals 4, and then 4 plus 2, 4 plus 4, plus four equals 8. So that would be 84. That's really not a 4 and 4. It's a 40 and 40. Did you know that? Huh? Did you hear me out there in the moment? Right? We see this. I mean, your, your teachers told you 2 and 2 and 4 and 4, but this is really 40, 40 and 40 and that 2 and 2. That is 80. Oops. 2. 84. 84. See? Oh, because, yeah. Two and two. Four. Okay. So I'm just going to subtract the 84. Is that okay? Is that okay that mm -hmm. I did that? Okay. So now what does that tell me? I'm, I have 21 boxes. I don't know how many goes in each box, but I do know that 1,344 is my total. Is yeah. that what this adds up to? I hope so. I just took it away over here, didn't I? Yeah. I, better, I better hope it adds back up to it, right? It does. So wh what's this missing number? The, num the, the missing number... Is Where am I going to find it? Right here. We're going to find it right in the uh -huh. middle. Uh-huh. Can you do it in your head? Yeah. 50 and 10. I know. Uh, 64. There you go. So the question was, how many stuffed animals are in each box? There are... 64. Animals in each box. Okay? So that's what the answer is to number one. Now, down here at number five, it says, write two of your own problems using multiples not on the tower and solve the tower. Now... Some kids are going to make this way harder than it needs to be. Do you remember the problem I asked you guys this morning? I asked every class the same exact question. Miss Galata's class, sorry if you, if, if you didn't get this question, but I bet you can figure it out. I'm going to clear this. Are you okay if I clear all this? Sure. Oh, I didn't want to clear it all. Ah! I'm just going to circle the multiples. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Here we go. That's 30. Oh, see, Miss Sarah already knows them all. Okay. So I gave you 1,100... <sighs> Hold on. 1,197 divided by 21. Do you remember that problem? The very first problem I gave you this morning. Yes. Do you know where that came from? Remember I even said to you guys this morning, I'm like, hold on, hold on. I'm doing some math. I'm doing some math. It came right here. I was able to add 39 and where are you? 798. You know what I did? I brought that to 400. And you brought I brought that, that to 800, 800, which in my head I can add, right? 1,200. 
then what did I have to take away? I have to take away one, two, two three. three. So I could do that. That's where that 1197 came from. Okay? I didn't come up with some magic number, right? All I did was I found two multiples on this tower and I added them together. Because do you agree that if this is the, can you tell me which, which multiple it was? Um, if this is the 20th? That is the 19th. That's right. If this is the 19th multiple, but and if this is the 40th... How did you get it? Like three? How did you... Like oh, two? here. I'll show you. Oops. Let me erase this. Because if I rounded this one up to 400, how much did I change it by? One. One. And then if I rounded this up to 800, what did I change that by? One. Not one, but... Two. Two. So if I change that by one and this by two, it's a total of... Three. Three. That's where the three came from, and that's why I took three away from that total. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So, if this is the 19th multiple, and this is, I think, isn't this the 40th? So, two less than that is the... 38th. 38th. So, if this is the 38th multiple, and this is the 19th multiple, what do you think this multiple was? Uh, Would it be yeah. this plus this added together? Yes. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. 38 <laughs> plus 19. You ready to do it with me? I'm going to do it from left to right. You ready? 30 nine. and 10. 30 and 10 equal 40. And what's 8 and 9? 9 is um, 19. I know. It's hard on video, right? It's like, oh! Okay, so 17. So what's um, 40 and 17? 40 and 17. 40 that equals um, um, 57. You are right. So which multi which what do you think this answer was? 57, right? 57. But but what if we didn't know all these multiples? We could have found them by clustering like we did over here, right? We could have found them by clustering little bits here and there. That's what they're asking you to do. When you go to do th those two boxes tonight where I ask you to write your own problems, willy-nilly, I don't care which multiples you pick, just, pick, just make sure that when you add them together, it's bigger than 1,050. So don't pick like 147 and 168. That barely adds up to 300, right? That's going to be on this tower. So add some numbers over here on these two towers over here. And that way, when you add them together, the number is going to be off the so tower. You pick two numbers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pick that's two numbers. Yeah. That's, off the, that's, on these that's on these towers, yes. Because it says using multiples not on the tower and then solve the power problems. So yeah, I just want you to pick two numbers. On the tower. Mm -hmm. okay. 1,008. Ooh, she is making it hard. Now, you, if you really want to, you can pick some numbers over here because we just want it to be bigger than 1,050. So you can pick some numbers over here if you want to. 370. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add 1,008 and 378. And we're going to, let's see, you ready to do it? Eight. What's 10, 100, and 300? 10, 100, and 300 would be 1,300. 1,300, that's right, 1,300. 0, 10, 7, 10, 70, right? But what about this 8 and 8 over here? 16. 16, that's right. So, so 8 times 2 is 16. Right. So 70 and 16 is? 70 and 16. Okay, okay. 70 and 16 is 86. That's right. So now what you're going to write for this box is now that you have a total, you're going to say 1,386 divided by 21. It's off the tower, right? Yeah. And we know it's going to be an answer because isn't this the... 48th multiple? Isn't this the, I don't know, multiple? 18th multiple? Yes. So if I were going to find this answer, couldn't I just add these two multiples together to get the answer? Yes. But we could do something else to find the answer. Now we are at our 15 minute time limit almost, but we are going to solve this problem. Okay? In fact, you know what? We're going to solve it right now. We're going to pause it, and we're going to solve it. I want you to try to solve it on your own. And don't add up the 18 and 48. That's cheating. Add and, and actually go and cluster it, okay? We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We've got 30 seconds left to go before we run out of time. So when we divided by 21, Sarah, we did, we started off by? 50. Making 50 groups, taking it away. Then yes. we did? 10. 10 more groups took it away. 5. 5 more groups took it away. And 1. 1 more group. Sarah even checked this, y'all. This does add up to 1386. And she figured out that how many groups of 21? 
66. 66. Because 50 plus 10.